Welcome back. I just wanted to do a very quick video because I seem to have had loads and loads of responses from my Suzuki Bergman video that I did a month or so back. And it did get me thinking, what else is out there? So if you didn't want a Bergman, what else could you go for? So this is just really a couple of scooters that I've looked at and thought, would they be as good as a Suzuki Bergman? Have a look at my list that I've compiled and you tell me if there's anything missing from that list that does challenge what is arguably the Bergman's number one spot. So have a look at these, let me know what you think about them. First on my list, we've got the Piaggio MP3. Now this is a very expensive scooter. Comes in at nine and a half thousand pounds, brand new. It has got a 492 cc engine, so it is capable of motorway speeds. And it does have 40 bhp. Fuel wise, the tank is just over five liters and it claims a 55 miles per gallon which delivers 150 miles on a full tank seat height on this is 790 millimeters so it's got that double wheel at the front going on which isn't for everybody so next i've picked the bmw c400x it's got a 350 cc engine and it comes in it just over six and a half thousand pound it has a top speed of 19 miles an hour so it's more than capable for motorway journeys and it boasts 70 miles per gallon which means that the four litre petrol tank that it's got will do around 200 miles which is pretty good it's another low seat at 775 millimeters so again brilliant for me This is Yamaha's offering of the Maxi Scooters. It's a th another three-wheeler, two at the front. I believe this one will stand up on its own as well, so you don't need to put your foot down. Don't quote me on that, though, because my balance is rubbish. Anyway, this one comes in at £7,800. It claims to do 75 miles per gallon, and it's got a 3.8 litre tank. So it says it'll do 210 miles out of a full tank, which is pretty good. It's got a 292cc. I should imagine it will get up to 70, but I haven't ridden it, so I don't know. Seat height for this one comes in at 795 millimeters. So anything around the 800 mark will suit someone like myself with the short legs. You see here, it's got awesome luggage capacity under the seat enough room for two helmets or a little bit of shopping if that's what you're going to use it for next one is my personal favorite the italjet dragstar we've got a 125 engine and it comes in at 4800 which i think is quite pricey for a 125 but just look at the styling on this bike this is like a uh, ducati of the scooter world even down to the lights look at the rear lights amazing very similar to the ducati monster where you can see the the frame of the bike i just think the styling is awesome on this thing now being a 125 it aims to do 80 miles per gallon and on a three and a half litre tank you're talking 120 ish miles on a full tank it's got a low sea height of 770 millimeters and a claim top speed of 75 mile an hour just looks beautiful this one and this one albeit it's got the smallest engine it's got little to no storage as you can see here pretty much enough for your phone which isn't brilliant but 
it just looks so cool if i was a 17 year old again this would be the bike that i would want 